Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins. I'm the proud pastor of the people who call the New Horizons Church home. We are the place where Christ is the way and the word is clear. And you've tuned in to the Fresh Fire Daily Prayer Devotional Ministry of the New Horizons Church. And I thank you for joining us each and every day as we pray to our Lord and our God who hears us and answers us when we pray. This month, we're going to be praying about the blessed church. That's right. We are the church of Jesus Christ. We are the body of Christ. And the body meets in buildings. The building is not the church. The building is where the body meets to glorify God and to hear from him and to fellowship with one another and to share and to serve. And so we're praying about the blessing being available to you and to me who are part of the church of Jesus Christ. Each day we're reading a passage of scripture that reminds us of the blessings that God has for his church. Today we're going to be in Acts chapter 8 and verse 3. Acts chapter 8 and verse 3 from the New King James Version of the Word of God says, As for Saul, he made havoc of the church, entering every house and dragging off men and women, committing them to prison. As for Saul, he made havoc of the church, entering every house and dragging off men and women, committing them to prison. You know, at the birth of the church, at the beginning of the church, people weren't happy that the church was glorifying God and lifting up Jesus and preaching in his name. And in fact, there were people, men like Saul, who would go into houses and take people captive and take them, men and women, off to prison because there was persecution against the church. In the same way, there's persecution against the church worldwide and even in our communities. And so we want to pray today for two things. Number one, we want to pray that God's protection from the enemy producing devastation in the church. We want to pray God's protection from the enemy producing devastation in the church. Secondly, we want to pray God's protection from the enemy producing disorder in the church. That word havoc, it means devastation and disorder. And we want to pray God's protection over the enemy's plans for our lives. Come on, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and bless you and praise you for this day. For this is the day, Lord God, that you have made, and we are rejoicing, and we are glad in it. What a wonderful day this is to be a part of the body of Christ. Lord, we thank you for delivering us from the power of darkness and translating us into the kingdom of your dear Son. We thank you for your grace that allowed us to make a confession of faith in the death, burial, and the resurrection of Jesus, and you placing us in the body of Christ. So we thank you for that and give you praise, honor, and glory for it. We also thank you, Lord, for helping us to understand that when we start operating in our purpose, that persecution will come. We are not ignorant of the enemy's devices, Lord. We know that from the beginning, the enemy has never liked the bride of Christ. They've never liked the church, Lord God. And so they bring persecution and problems and pain and try to establish devastation and disorder in your house and in the house of your people. But we come, Lord God, today to raise up a standard against the enemy. We come, Lord, today praying for your protective hand to be over your church. We come, Lord, today to pray for your covering over your people. We come, Lord, that when the enemy comes in to produce devastation, Lord, you would bring development. I pray for people up under the sound of my voice, Lord, that are experiencing devastation in their own lives. They may be experiencing devastation in terms of their finances, or they may be experiencing some devastating situation in terms of their family, or they may be experiencing devastation, Lord, that has rocked their faith. Whatever it may be, Lord, I come against it right now in the name of Jesus, and I pray for your hand of providence, your hand of sovereignty, your hand of, of, of dominion and authority to turn what the enemy meant for devastation into development for your people in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, that they would know that you will never leave and you will never forsake them, that whatever has been allowed or whatever has been arranged, it is for their good and for your glory. I pray, Lord God, that your protection would also be upon the lives of the people where the enemy may be trying to bring in disorder in the church, that they may be trying to bring in disorder and get things out of order. I pray, Lord God, that men and women would know that Jesus Christ is the head of their life. I pray in family, Lord, that you would get the family and keep the family in order, 
that the husband and wife would be in harmony with your word and with each other. I pray that the children would be in harmony with the word and with their mother and father and with their siblings, Lord. I pray not only in our own home, but in our houses of worship, Lord, that we would be in order recognizing that Jesus Christ is the head of the church. I pray that pastors and leaders would find their place. I pray that ministry leaders and workers would find their place, that as people come into the house of God, they would find order instead of disorder. I pray and thank you, Lord, for knowing that the enemy comes in to destroy and to tear down and to kill, but you have come in that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly. So I pray your hand of blessing would be upon our homes, that your hand of blessings would be upon your hand of blessing would be upon our houses of worship, and that you would keep us and cover us from the plans of the enemy. And we believe victory in the lives of your people. We believe victory in the lives of your church. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank God for you praying with us and praying for us each day. Today we prayed from Acts chapter 8 and verse 3. As for Saul, he made havoc of the church. That word havoc is devastation and disorder, entering every house and dragging off men and women, committing them to prison. When the enemy comes in to bring devastation and disorder, God has a way of protecting his church that they might do what they've been called to do. I want you to walk in that protection, walk in that covering today. And again, my prayer is that if you do not have a church home, that you will find a local church that preaches the Bible, believes in Jesus, and grows people up to be disciples of him. If you're in the Indianapolis area and you don't have a church home, we ask that you would consider being guests in God's house with us at the New Horizons Church. We meet every Sunday at 9 a.m., at 7315 East 75th Street here in the city of Indianapolis. And we would love for you to be God's guest with us as you look for a church home. I'm praying for you. Share the channel with someone else. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification button. That way you can get these prayers each day as we're praying about the blessed church. I love you in the Lord. Be victorious. God bless.